I love to go for walks, not running, not for fitness purposes or necessarily as a means of transportation to anywhere. I just love the feeling of getting out in the fresh air and moving my body with no goals or destination in mind. Walking is my solace and my safe space. When I have a long day at work, I wrap up my day with a walk. When I'm chatting with someone on the phone, I'll go for a stroll as I talk. It gives me peace, boosts my energy, and sparks my creativity. There have been periods of my life where I've been unable to do my preferred exercises like weightlifting or dancing, be it from injuries or illness. I'm a person who finds a lot of meaning through movement, so losing these forms of self-care is very challenging for me. But the one thing I've always been able to do in my highs and lows is walking. It requires very minimal exertion, it can be done anywhere at any time, and it has no minimum requirement or end goal. There are the obvious benefits of walking. It strengthens your bones, boosts endurance, and helps to reduce the risk of various illnesses. But not only does walking feel good for your body, it's also incredibly healthy for your brain. If you're feeling stuck, going for a walk can create a disruption in your routine and comfort zone, which helps open the mind up to new ideas and possibilities. What I love most about walking is that in a world constantly rushing from one activity to the next, it's an action which requires slowness and intentionality. We're constantly in pursuit of the activities that will do the most in the least amount of time, but walking is intentionally mellow. Some of the great minds, Beethoven, Virginia Woolf, Nietzsche, toted walking to be their secret for mental aptitude and success. I most identify with Charles Dickens who stated, if I could not walk far and fast, I think I should just explode and perish. Walking reminds me how far one can go by simply putting one foot in front of the other. The things we find in slowing down and connecting with our surroundings. That creating distance helps things look small. The reminder that the fastest way isn't always the best way. So if you're feeling sad or feeling stuck or just feeling plain lost, I encourage you to go outside and just walk. As long as I have the legs to carry me, I'll do the same. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and eat something today. And I will see you when I see you.